Hello everyone. Tech Good Reads give you good thing to read to listen. Today, I will talk about how the meta of Facebook use embedding based retrieval in their search. For the content, I will cover the challenges of Facebook search embedding, applying uh, embedding based retrieval in search, modeling, serving, and uh, later stage optimization. The challenges of Facebook search is different from the other apps. In the Facebook search, we can see this screen. It needs to input the word, but also the search content may be related to the social graph and also may be related to the locations of the customers. Originally, Facebook used the search based on the term matching but that search result is not very good. So Facebook require a semantic matching, including context, social, location, etc. Let's understand what's embedding. Deep learning has made a significant progress in speech recognition, computer vision, and uh, natural language understanding. One of the deep learning's success is embedding. Embedding is a way to represent a sparse vector of ideas as a dense feature vector. In this way, embedding helps to make the large dataset into a smaller dataset, and this small dataset can be used for the future calculation. For example, word to vec is a very famous embedding skills. Facebook uses embedding based retrieval skills in their architecture. They have two layers. One is retrieval layer and another is ranking layer. For the general search model, retrieval layer is used to build the inverted index of the documents and then based on the input to find related documents. When applying this uh, embedding, it's also pre-calculated the embedding for with those indexes, and also calculated the embedding from the in query input. Based on the retrieval model, re uh, retrieval layer will output the results to the ranking layer. The ranking layer will based on all the features and uh, output the end results to the users. For the model selection, Facebook uses two towel embedding model. The input features including text features, social embedding features, and the location features. In the text features, it uses chapter n grams instead of word n grams to increase the similarities. We can see the right side of picture. For the query, it calculates the embedding, and also for each document, calculate the embedding. And uh, at last, it uh, uses the similarity score to know if the query is uh, similar to the documents. In the real case, the documents can be millions of our documents. So calculating the input queries uh, with all the documents doesn't make sense. So here, to serve the data, it uses the inverted index based ANN. ANN means approximate nearest neighbor search algorithm. It split the vector into uh, sub-vectors and calculate each one, and then get the nearest neighbors with all the documents. Using ANN helps get the result efficiently. Besides the retrieval layer optimization, ranking layer optimization is also used. The embedding is calculated in the retrieval layer and it can also be a ranking features input into the ranking layer. Embedding is a feature of the retrieval layer, and it can be a ranking feature. 
Here, it uses the cosine similarity of embedding. And the result showed that uh, this similarity gives the largest gains. If you need a deeper understanding of uh, how the Facebook using this embedding-based retrieval, please see the paper, Embedding-Based Retrieval in Facebook Search, and in this link. This is Chen Thank you for watching. See you next time.